Hello and welcome to all the students. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the second step of student registration, which is the profile filling. So, there is a previous video in which you can see how a student can register and verify his email, which is basically from this step. By filling this form and verifying your email will make you register on this portal. So, this is the continuation to the first video. And in this video, we are going to see once the verification is done, how we can log in and how we can fill our profile and search for our apprentices which are suitable to according to our profile. Now I can go and log in with the same user credentials with which I have registered just few minutes back. Yeah, so once my basic registration is completed, I can see all the details from the registration page coming here out of it. Along with which I have to give my mother's name and my father's name over here. Proceeding ahead, whether I'm a minority, yes or no. Whether with a personal disability, yes or no. There is an option on the top to give your passport size photo. So you can give your need professional passport size photo. So once after I fill all these details, I can click on save and continue. So now you can see the education details also auto filled from the registration page. So I have to provide my provisional certificate. Whether I have done diploma, higher ed secondary education or high school education or ITI before this graduation in engineering. So I'm going to select higher education. I have done plus two. So I can give the details of my school. So my school belongs from Andhra Pradesh. Let's say from Kakinada. And my school name is Narayana. And the institute name is Chaitanya. So my school's enrollment ID is to be provided in here. And what is the percentage I have secured in this plus two? About myself, I'm a technology enthusiast, so I write as technology. So I have to provide these details without a space. And what are my skills? So if you have multiple skills, you can provide with the help of a comma. And what are the language I know? Click on save and continue. So now I have been asked my communication information like where I reside, what is my first permanent address, and what is my present address. So, firstly, I have to give my permanent address. So, once I give in the pin code, automatically the post office drop down gets automated, and the district and state also get selected once you select the post office. So if my present address and the permanent address are same, I can just click on this. If not, I can fill this present address details. So I'm just going to confirm that both of them are same and I'm going to click on save and continue. So now comes the fourth step of profile filling, which is giving the location and the field preferences. This is something like where I want to get my apprenticeship. Let's say right now I'm living in Delhi. So I'm going to select Delhi as the state of preference and the districts would be New Delhi. Let's say my preference too is Andhra Pradesh and I want it from Vishakha. Let's say my third one is Uttar Pradesh. So I will select UP and a district from it. And similarly, if I have any field-wise preferences, I can give them too. And click on save and continue. So the last step of profile filling for a student is giving his bank details in which he wants to get his stipend credited. So, I have to give the IFSC code of my branch based on which automatically the bank branch name and the bank name gets auto populated. I need to give the account holder name, which is the student name itself, and the bank account number. Along with that, I can also give the passbook details, the first page of bank 
passbook can be uploaded through a PDF. And click on save and preview. So by clicking on this, I can see that all of my profile has been filled completely. And whatever details I have filled, I can see over here. So by verifying all these details for the one last time, I can click on final submit. But before that, if I want to edit, I can click on edit. If I want to take a printout, I can click on print. So I'm confirming that all the details are proper and I agree to the terms and conditions and I click on submit. So by clicking on the submit, my profile has been completely submitted. And now I have come to my dashboard. Over here, I can see all the details like the student enrollment ID which got generated, along with the student reference ID, my date of birth, email ID, contact number, and all the remaining details. I can see how many advertisements I have applied and how many have been shortlisted, how many interview calls I got, out of which how many I got selected and rejected. These are right now zero because this is a fresh registration and I'm yet to apply for any advertisement. So similarly, if there are any advertised vacancies, I can see those listings over here. If there are any skill vacancies, like based on my skill, let's say I have given React JS as my skill and Python as my skill. If there are any advertisements based on React JS and Python, those will be listed in here. So this is the third section, which is the yearly requirements. Let's say a company wants to hire few stipend uh, students with a general knowledge so those kind of advertisements will also be seen over here so this is our dashboard of a student is verified in here